Okay, we've got about 16 packages, well, 16 packages to open today. Um, not sure that I'll make it in one video. I have not pre-opened any of them simply because of the fact that if there's any damage to any of them, I want, I want to pick that up on camera. So the first one, it was double boxed. Of course. Close your eyes, but I don't want you to see. I want you to be surprised. Oh, man. You're going to like this one, dude. You're not gonna, you don't have a clue what it is. What do you think it is? Uh, something bigger. Okay. I know it's gonna be something bigger. Oh, I used the wrong side. Yeah. Not yet. I'll tell you when you can look. You're actually not even close. Something that I like or something that you like? Both. Okay, you can look. Okay. Look, turn. Oh, wow. It's a sealed copy. Factory sealed copy of Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, wow. That's actually great. If this, oh, if this grade's high, it's uh, pretty valuable. So, Are we going to get it Absolutely. We've never actually... I don't think we've ever done anything like this on the channel. Mm -mm. No, we have not. So, the camera view is not perfect, so... Sorry, folks, but um, I want to look at that. That's really nice. That nice. You can see the factory seal. It's in really good shape. Was it expensive or? Uh, I traded. Oh wow! Let me guess, you traded Daredevil. I'm not gonna tell you what I traded, but it's pretty valuable. So yeah, factory sealed. It does have, and I knew this, I knew this before I did the deal, on the outside of the plastic, not inside the plastic, because there's no holes on the plastic, right? On the outside of the plastic, there looks like there's a little bit of mold, which he disclosed to me. I don't know if you guys can see if it'll come through. Hold on, I want them to see. Uh, you can see around the Nintendo seal. A little oh, bit. yeah, I see it. He's white. But I've talked to a few guys that are like big time collectors and their advice to me was get a q-tip and some i'll have to go back at the message one of the guys uh, i think that's what he had said like peroxide or something yeah. um i don't know if i'm going to do that because i've never done anything like that well, I it's may... like a Clorox wipe, basically, but, yeah but it won't yeah. make it shiny and then people will think it's right. fake and it's in horrible condition right and then it will look like hey they got it well, I may send it to the grading company and let them do it. Uh, and just don't get too close to this sharp edge, okay? So, I don't know if we're going to, like I said, I don't know if we're going to do this one video or multiple guys. Or folks, I don't want to say guys and exclude them the girls. But um, there's a lot to open here. Clearly, like there's literally a wall. Yeah. Uh, this should be some of the last shipments for a while, though, because... I'm kind of... Your more... favorite thing in the world. Oh, I hate packing peanuts. Don't drop them on the floor because then I'll be upset. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm not, not really buying anymore. Um, I'm trading and I'm selling some stuff. Uh, simply because I'm actually trying to get in a situation where I can get back into rental properties. Um, well, I'm in a position where I can now, but... I don't want to go spend a lot from our savings. I'd rather move some collectibles and put that money to buy, you know, maybe a condo at the beach. Um, yeah, and we'd use it as part rental property, part family vacations. And I'm sure that's really annoying to hear the, the bubble wrap here, guys, but. It is the most annoying thing for me right now. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. But this is going to be pretty cool when you see what it is. Close your eyes. Well, can I guess? Well, you already have an idea, probably. So, Super if you... Mario 3. I mean, Super Mario Bros. 3. No. Okay. You're actually probably going to like this, bud. So, it's going to be very well packaged. I'm going to see if I can adjust this camera just a little bit without it dropping. I haven't. 
Um, okay, you have it, so I have it. Look at this, bud. Don't say what it is yet, because I haven't shown the camera. This is a factory sealed box. Wow. There should be six in it of Game Boy Advance Ultimate Spider-Man. Ultimate Spider-Man? Yeah. And you can see it's still factory sealed. So these will probably be sent off to either VGA or WADA. Is it like actually Game Boy and? No, no. Oh, just it's, the game? It's the game. Six of the same, yeah, six pieces. So six copies of Ultimate Spider-Man. So uh, never opened. I mean, I'm hoping for at least five of the six to be nine eights. Hopefully all of them, but uh, we don't know for sure, right? One of them may be like a nine point six. Yeah. Like, so it's probably going to be pretty good. Well, yeah. And given where it came from, I trust that they took good care of it. I'm not going to say on video. I don't want to give away all my sources. Um, but you know, I've been buying, selling, and trading comic books and other stuff for several years. So I have a lot of folks who, not a big shot or anything, obviously, but I have a lot of folks who trust me because I have a lot of references that say, hey, you know, John packs like a crazy man. It can survive. You really did, though. I overpackage because. You to buy a thing that would fit 5,000 well, And then you fit like 500 wears of bubble wrap just to seal like a pizza. Well, let's not be that silly, buddy. But no, I believe in. Uh, not that I'm trying to be an anti environmentalist by any means, but I believe in using way more bubble wrap than is necessary. And by the way, this is how this came. It was in a box. Okay. Lots of bubble wrap. Huh? Okay. Uh, the baby's asleep. We just got an email. Out, so. Okay. So anyway, um, but I've been buying, selling, and trading comic books for I don't know half a decade. Uh, close oh, your eyes. Close your eyes. I feel like a little more than that. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, so the kid doesn't know this yet. I'll let you guys see the grade and what it is. You can look. Oh, wow. What's the grade? Nine, 90. So this is CAS. CAS. Oh, like 100? Yeah. CAS, it's, it's actually 91.9, but they only do in five point increments. <sighs> the question is, you know, this is from CAS, 90, or excuse me, 90, but it's really 91.9 is what they said. Uh, again, it's Game Boy Advance, factory sealed. The question is, do I send it to VGA or to WADA? Because... Kaz, I know when I used to be big into action figures, they were the competitor to AFA. Please don't. Which AFA is kind of a, I mean, it's the one that's been around the longest, sort of like CGC is for comic books. Um, so AFA for the longest time has been the standard in um, action figure grading. I think it stands for action figure authority. And I believe VGA is owned by the same company, right? So I think it stands for video game authority. So I'm pretty sure, same company as AFA, right? And VGA, from what I've been able to see, their grading system is a little different, and they tend to be a little more stringent on their grading. Does that mean strict? Yeah, yeah. That's a funny way to say it. Well, it's just a different way, bud. I mean, um, sounds like spaghetti. You're silly. Can I ask you to do me a favor, bud? Yeah. Can you? I'm gonna hand you these. Be very careful. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and put both of these um, in the Game Boy. No, yeah, this and the Game Boy. Very careful because this, I don't want you doing any damage. Do not drop them on the counter back here. Actually, no, put them on the pool table. Um, uh, John, yeah. The uh, Super Mario, uh, it's like probably going to be a really good grade because when I show it to it, uh -huh. Yeah, and that I think can be removed, so uh, I'm hoping for a high 90s grade on it. So this is actually something I got from Chase, Chase after the right price. So can you go bring this over there too, bud, and just set it down yeah, sure. next to those, but not on them. And so this one is something, it's actually a game as well. Um, and don't worry, guys, I'm not turning into a gaming channel. I just wanted to 
share my, one of my other things I enjoy. My brother and I used to play video games a ton as a kids. We grew up in a small farming town in the Finger Lakes, New York, and you're not working on a farm or cutting grass or whatever. Um, video games is a big thing to do. And I apologize for the bubble wrap noise. Chase, uh, his team does a great job of packaging. Clearly. He's, They're related to you. Yeah, I think they're related to me because they just use <laughs> oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of bubble wrap. I mean, they use less than you, though. So. I don't know. They might they might have me beat here. So, yeah. Chase, I might tag you in this video. Props to your team for using a ton of bubble wrap. I recycle. By that, I mean I reuse bubble wrap when I send stuff out. So Recycle, reuse, and reuse. No, it's reduce, reuse, recycle. And pretty pretty appreciative of them working with me on this. This is Double Dragon. What's that? It's an awesome, it's like Street Fighter, kind of. Oh, I love Street Fighter. And this is from the original Nintendo. This is not sealed, but it's really minty, minty. Wait, is it, is complete it in box. Nintendo? No, it's regular Nintendo. Hmm. NES. Uh, I mean, it's super clean. Super clean. So, I'll have to decide. Can you Should gently, gently put it over there? Is this like what you used to play? Yeah, yeah. Contra was the big one we played, um, but this was one we played too. Didn't you play Street Fighter? Yeah, we played Street Fighter too. And when I worked at FYE Arcade at Eastview Mall in Victor, New York, I, in high school I was the arcade manager, um, or one of the arcade managers. We had Williams Entertainment Group, Mortal Kombat, and I actually took the initiative to reach out to Williams Entertainment to ask if they would do a Mortal Kombat tournament at our store. And this was in 94, 95, 95. And then I guess they called back and like the senior leadership was upset that I reached out to them. I, I mean, the story, more of the story there is, you know, good idea, but you don't want to take credit for something. You want to run it by your leadership first because they get upset when they get surprises. So that was a lesson I learned. Look at that. Legend of Zelda. Oh, that's the, is that the original? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is the Legend of Zelda. I mean, really, perfect timing for Tears of the Kingdom. Is it? Yeah. Cause the really new, nice copy. Because the new uh, Tears of the Kingdom just came out for Zelda. Okay. And it, and this does say, um, under Nintendo Entertainment System Game Pack NES GP, my, my limited research tells me that's probably mid-production. But, I mean, the, the I understand that the... On CIB games, the box is like 50% of the grade, minus that one little piece there. This thing is in really good condition, like really good. Can you very gently, uh, there's a little piece of rip, oh. Can you very, very gently? Yes. Do not drop it, do not crush it. Because that could be worth an awful lot of money if it grades well. Um, and I think we'll just do one or two more on this video because it's getting kind of long. Yeah. You guys are probably sick of seeing my face. I have a question. Uh -huh. Have you ever played a Zelda game in your life? Oh, I'm, yeah. Because I've never played a Zelda game. Oh, yeah. We grew up. My brother and I grew up playing the original Nintendo. We played Gauntlet was one of our favorites. Contra was my all-time favorite. What's Contra? It's a fighting game, like a two-person. Oh, well, like Street Fighter in there? No, you're more on missions. Like, you can do one player or two player. And you go on missions, you have these um, shoe pews, you know, you shoot at things. Uh, close your eyes, I don't want you to see. Close your eyes. Can I guess? You're welcome to guess. But... No. Oh, man. Don't look. It's going to be there that they want Not yet. I want them to see it first. Probably. Okay, you can look. Is that the original, uh, what? No, this is Ninja Gaiden, or Gaiden. This is an original, uh, Nintendo game. Oh, wow. And it's already graded, a 9.4 A+. So the seal, the best grade you can get in a seal, I believe is A+, no, A++, or is it 3 pluses? I'm not sure. This is A+, which is good, and it's a 94, which they go up to 10 So I think it goes 10 0 9 8 uh, nine six nine four nine two nine zero, yeah. and then I think below that it drops down to like 
eight five eight zero. I think. I think once you hit nine zero, it goes in point two, sort of like CGC. So. Yeah, very much so, like CGC. Like, yeah. Oh, I sliced my hand. Like it has um, like that, uh, like Pluto, uh, like piece. Yeah. So very cool. Very happy to get that. Ninja Gaiden, nine four A plus, Wada graded on the NES. Buddy, can you gently put that over there too? Sure. Don't put anything on top of anything else anymore. Yeah, I know. Maybe we'll do one oh more. Goodness, that looks so nice. Doesn't it? It's definitely going to have to get a good grade. Yeah. You like it? I think so too. In the CGC this is a. I think this is comic book art. Um, oh. Great way to end, end part one off. I part think so too. One. Just don't get close because this is sharp, okay? I don't want to slice you. You have a, a swim beat tonight, right? Yes. Are you excited? Oh, very much so. Good. You gonna improve on your times? Yeah. Good. You gonna win? Oh, yeah. I hope so. I hope you improve on your times. Whether you win or not is... I'm gonna win because, I, because I'm in the 9 and 10 group when I probably should be in the 11 class. Because you're almost 11? And also because I... Uh, I do competitive. Yeah. Actual competitive. This, I actually learned uh, that for freestyle, for don't swim. Don't don't name the place where you swim. I don't want people. No. Freestyle for summer swim. Uh-huh. Uh, you can actually do any stroke. Oh, really? Yeah, because freestyle is apparently the fastest stroke that you can do. Mm. So, you could do, like, literally backstroke for freestyle. This is weird. I don't know why I even bid on this. This is one I actually bid on a while ago. It's just been sitting there. I never opened it. Because I wasn't too excited about it. It's not original art. It's just a movie poster. Yeah. What movie poster is it for? It's called Devil's Daughter. Is it good? <laughs> I have no idea. I just thought it looked interesting. Um, Can I see? Yeah. Nothing inappropriate. Just a strange name. Magic, black magic, mystery, dark mystery. Thank sister you. against sister in a blurring drama of tropical love and hate. Yeah. Devil's yeah. Daughter. Nothing special. I mean, it's not like an Avengers thing, type movie at all. No. Or else it will be called... No, but it's an older movie. Or else it will be called Devil's Daughter versus Satan. That yeah. would probably be funny. That'd be funny. Can you go put that over there, bud? Yeah. So let's see. We have nine left. Let's do one more. And then we'll stop and do another video. And yes, I know I have hat hair today, guys. It's actually microphone hair or um, headset hair. Oh, this is a good way to end the video. Hopefully this is well packaged. Is it another movie? Yeah. If it's Street Fighter, then I will be very much. I think you're going to lose your stuff when you see it. Close your eyes. I think you're going to lose your, your mind when you see this. You've played that before? Yeah. Don't look yet. Okay, everybody. You this know, is this is a sealed copy. Don't look. Sealed copy. Okay, you can look. What? Yeah. How? <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to be a 9-8. Um, I mean, that's one of like the... But... I believe I've seen nine eight sell for like fifty thousand or thirty thousand. Sure. So I don't know. This is. I mean, I've never. Yes. Oh, I want. John. Now listen, you be super careful bringing this over. John. Yeah. Let me get done with this. That's the sapphire version. Just, can you just uh, take it out of the store uh -huh. and take a picture of it? I've already taken. I've already done that. Oh. So all right, that's it for the first video. We have eight. I think eight more boxes to go. Ended with a real banger. So that was the. Hold well, on, let me tell them what it is. It was for the Game Boy Advance. It was a factory sealed copy of Pokemon Sapphire. Um, like I say, I've, I've looked at, don't play with that, please. Just put it back up. Historical sales in a 9 8. 
and it's in the tens of thousands. Now I'm not saying that's a nine eight. Don't you know? I'm not trying to say that, but it's definitely higher grade. So I'm hoping nine six. I don't know. Even nine four would be fine. But I mean, if that came back a nine eight, that's huge. I mean, it's, isn't it one of the first ones? Or I'm not sure. When did it come out properly? Was it 2011 or 13 or something? Or nine? Oh, it's definitely it was, not one of those. It was so. after 2005, I think before 2015, right? Oh, so, but it's definitely not one of the first. No, I don't know. But what do you think? Did you like I that? I thought it was... We usually do comics on this channel, but um, I had a chance to get into some games and... You took that offer. Yeah. And I think it... I think that the one that you're going to probably get the best sale out of yeah. is the original copy of Legend of Zelda, just because Tears of the Kingdom came out. Well, I think, you know, I, it's just these like companies, at least WADA, I know, grades what they call complete in box. That means it's already been, the seal's been broken mm -hmm. and it's been opened, but it's mi not missing anything. And when they grade mint, or excuse me, when they grade complete in box, all the research I've seen from watching different YouTubers and, and reading online is 50% of the grade is determined by the box. the box. And that box is really clean. It is. So I would imagine that's going to at least be a 9-0, but I could be wrong. And oh, and the map inside is still sealed. So I may get dinged on, I think there's some bends to that or something, or to the instruction manual. So give me a... Get those graded? Yeah. Give me some feedback, folks. Um, you know, on the Mario 2, Super Mario 2 that was factory sealed, I mentioned it had some mold or whatever it is on the, it's on the outside of the plastic. It doesn't go in the inside. There's no, there's no, please don't play with that. There's no breaks to the plastic where any, please don't do that, where any condensation or humidity could have got in there. So it's definitely on the outside. And like I said, the person I talked to who seems to be an expert in video game collecting, his recommendation was a Q-tip and either peroxide rubbing alcohol or peroxide or one of those. Um, that makes sense because then it'll be like Clorox white. Yeah, my thing. only fear is what if, and I don't know that it, alcohol could do this, it, could it hurt the, the seal? I don't know. So I may send it into the company and let them clean it. I mean, if you have a Q-tip, then it should be a... Probably, problem. but yeah. I mean, if it grades, let's say that graded a 9.4. don't know if it will. I mean, that's big money. Um, if I did something that screwed it up and it broke the seal, that significantly kills the value, like over 80%. So oh, I, I think, I think way over that, yeah, like, so anyway, awesome. Uh, thumbs up for this. You like that haul? Very much. And I'm ready to see part two because I'm ready to see some comics. All right. We'll close this down. Thanks guys. Love to hear what Get you think. What was your favorite item that we showed? Most of it was video games, but. Let me know what you like the best and any recommendations on getting them graded. Always willing to trade uh, comic books or other things for interesting video games. I'd like a factory sealed Contra for NES. Doesn't have to be graded, but I'd prefer factory sealed. That would be a really funny Thanks. thing to get. What? If we could find like a Street Fighter 2 Turbo sealed for the, for the uh, Super. NES. Yeah, that'd be cool.